the best superhero movie ever. Hey guys, and welcome back to another brand new video for you guys today. It's beautiful where I'm at. I've been loving the weather lately. It's been amazing. Anything, you know, above amazing. It's just been, it's been great. It's been nice to have, like, okay, I love rainy weather, but, um, it, you know, we had this nice, calm, rainy, stormy-ish day before I went into work, and then I come out and it's all sunny and everything like that, which is just, you know, it's fine. It's just, I kind of wanted a rainy day today. But anyway, it's still beautiful out and I love it. I got my window open, so if it sounds a little windy in here, that's why, because my window is right over there. Um, but anyway, guys, you guys know from the title that I will be ranking, because it's getting closer and closer to Avengers Endgame. So I thought I would just do a ranking of all the Marvel movies, all 21, that's a lot, all 21 Marvel movies that have been made before Endgame that have come out and are part of, are, that are part of the MCU. Um, I've never done this video before, so we'll see. And just a disclaimer here for you guys, my, I know my list is not gonna be, you know, the majority, you know, kind of list where everyone is pretty much the same. It's gonna be a little bit of a variety here, how I have these ranked. And if some of these that I know are probably in your top five that aren't in mine, it's not because I necessarily think it's a horrible movie. It's just for my personal taste, for my, you know, yeah, for my personal taste in movies and for Marvel movies, like that's why it's ranked a little, a little low because not necessarily because it's a bad movie, just because I'm like, ugh. Like, a lot of people, I like Guardians of the Galaxy too. I did, I actually quite enjoyed it. Um, but I'm not really into the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. So, that's why, you know, I'm just, you know, explaining that for you little guys so you guys don't get all, you know, anxious and like, in the comments. Be respectful, you know, I'm sure I'm not gonna get a whole lot of views on this, but, you know, we'll see where this takes us. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out here for you guys. And you probably know what's probably going to be on my bottom, but, you know, based on my other previous review. Um, anyway, let's get into this. So, for my number 21, I'm only putting this here because I have not, this is the only MCU movie that I have not seen. Um, and it's The Incredible Hulk. That's the only reason I put it on the, on the bottom, because I can't put it anywhere else because I have not seen it. So I guess you could just take that out of here and it's just 20, 20 movies that I'm ranking. But uh, yeah, that's why I'm just putting it. I'm sure it's probably a good movie. I don't know. I've never been really intrigued to watch it just because we have Mark Ruffalo as Hulk, not Ed Norton. So I'm like, eh, do I really want to watch it? No, not really. <laughs> so that's why I haven't watched it yet. Um, but anyway, going into number 20, I put Captain Marvel for obvious reasons. Um, yeah, and now, looking, looking back before you lose your, you lose your cool, um, looking back on it, I probably, okay, I did really, really dislike that movie for the worst reasons ever. I thought it bombed really bad in my opinion, but it's not like this horrible, horrible movie. It's not like, I mean, it's stupid, but not the kind of stupid that, like, Aquaman was, where I just had a very bad taste in my mouth after that movie and nothing made sense. Um, but, yeah, so it's, it's, I, I will give it that. It's not horrible. I don't want to give the impression, like, man, this is, like, the worst movie ever. No, it's not. I just, for a Marvel movie, I have better expectations, and it just completely didn't meet any expectations that I had going into that film. The cat and Phil Coulson were the best part. Um, but anyway before I lose subscribers. I'm gonna go on to the next one. Um, number 19 is Iron Man 2. Now, Iron Man 2, I think is an okay film. Um, and you might be thinking, why you put that before Captain Marvel? Wow. I told you guys, I told you, this isn't gonna be a normal ranking. If you want to see something that'll fit everyone's ranking, like everyone has the same ranking out there almost, um, and then you can go, to their their channel. I just, you know, I didn't think Iron Man 2 was that bad, 
but um but there was that that was okay that was the first marvel movie i ever saw so i saw it when i was like 12 or 13 something like that maybe even 11 i think it was 12. um but yeah i saw it when i was that old so it's like it was like really cool to me i thought like that was super super neat and i was like yeah i like this and then i saw the next one the next one was better the, the first one was better um but anyway that's why i put it at number 19 because like compared to the rest of them I'm just like yeah whatever um then the next one was iron man 3. i was very disappointed in iron man 3. um i hate retcons <laughs> i i i do and especially i hate going into the movie like, I, I don't mind twists. Twists I'm fine with. But when they completely change the story for a very lame villain, I was I was disappointed in that. I, yeah. And at the time, you know, I, I saw it with my sister and, like, you know, the ending, he gets the thing taken out of his chest and you're like, well, that's not what makes Iron Man Iron Man. To me, I'm like, well, it's a part of him, though, you know. So I, so I was just disappointed in that film and I was like, the whole fiery robot people I was like did you no but I did like the chemistry between Iron Man Tony Stark and the little boy I did like that um and I kind of liked what they were doing with like the PTSD uh kind of storyline with it too I did like that and I appreciated that so anyway that was my number 18 and then my number 17 is Guardians of the, Gal Guardians of the Galaxy 2 I can't speak um yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, not anything super special. It was just kind of whatever, but I enjoyed it. You know, the Mary Poppins line. It, it's good. Um, the only thing, it was just kind of long. I, I got pretty bored, like, this, the last half of the film. I was pretty, like, okay, like, what are we doing here? I thought it was going to be more invested with his dad. I thought his dad was going to be kind of, like, the main storyline but kind of the side storyline not that we were going to be stuck on this island for the entire time um but yeah it was pretty joke heavy and it just kind of took away from the film but i did like that they introduced introduced manta or mantis whatever it is. i think it's mantis um i like her she's funny um anyway that is my number 17. my number 16 is thor ragnarok um yeah <laughs> Y'all, y'all are, y'all are gonna be, uh, stomping your feet here, I know. Um, I just didn't, for, for everything that the Thor movies, like, had established in, like, the character that he was, I just felt like they kind of just, again, retconned everything and was just like, we're gonna throw all that mess out and we're gonna make a stupid, no, okay, it wasn't stupid, well, I mean, it kind of was, but it was just, you know, joke heavy, it took away from the film. There was too much comedy, way too much comedy. You know, it's not like it was a like a horrible movie just for a Thor movie. I, you know, I, I liked the first two Thor movies, so I didn't really know why they were like we're gonna completely redo everything. Thor was not the problem of why the first two Thor mo movies were not really heavily accepted by people. Um, I don't consider Thor the problem with those. I just consider the, you know the writing or the directing what was what was wrong with those um but yeah that's why that was my number 16 just because it just it really just it disappointed me i was like why you know why do we got to do this in, in characters i know you're gonna be thinking about it but that new character i don't know rock man or whatever he was he really annoyed me and the woman really annoyed me i did not like their characters but anyway that's just my personal opinion i know it's I know it's very unpopular, but that's okay. Um, and then number 15 is Thor the Dark World. Now I know I don't get all the hate for Thor the Dark World. I really don't. I don't know what is so wrong with that film, why it causes such a stir of emotions in people. Um, I thought it was a really good movie. And I mean, this is probably not as good as when I first saw it, but I really enjoyed it. That Captain America cameo scene, that was like the best ever, you know, even though it was Loki. That was like, it cracked me up in the theater. I just thought it was super, super funny while still being serious. Now, the the villain in that film definitely wasn't, wasn't good. But I did like the story that they were telling. Um, but that's just my opinion. I thought it was a good movie, but that's why it's ranked a little bit lower on my, you know, 
on my scale. But uh, anyway, the next one is number 14, Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. Now, the reason why this is ranked lower, again, is not just because, you know, like, I hated this movie. It was just because it's personally not my kind of taste of the film. Like, it's not like it's a horrible movie. I just personally don't really get into the story or... I think when... I, I'm, I'm weird, guys. I'm weird. When it comes to things in space, it's very easy for me to kind of lose interest just because I haven't really, you know... There's not many space movies, except Star Wars, that I really get into. And it, I like all the characters. I like Rocket, like Peter Quill. I even like Gamora, surprisingly. I mean, she's not my favorite, but I even, I, you know, I have a decent likeness for her. Um, but yeah, so it's not like it's a horrible movie. It's just not, it's not my thing, really. And then the next one is number 13, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, this movie... <laughs> It really kind of disappointed with me because after it got over, it was over, I was kind of like, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Like it was just kind of whatever. Um, I felt like I didn't like the villain because it was like this weird, I, it felt like a filler episode almost. You know how those filler episodes in like Arrow or Flash or something like that? Um, not necessarily bad, but just kind of like, eh, okay, you know, like not super intrigued, but I did think it was really funny. I just thought maybe it was a little too heavy with comedic relief, um, that it kind of took away from the film. And I personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Wasp. I liked her better in the first film than I did in this film, just because she seemed very, like, dominant in this film. Um, but yeah, so this film was kind of like whatever, but I mean, I still liked it. I haven't watched it yet, again. Since, since seeing it in the theater, I haven't watched it again. But, you know, I might one of these days. Um, then my next one is Thor. The first one. <laughs> Just Thor. Um, I like this film. I think it has its, its problems and struggles. But overall, I really enjoyed it. And especially, this was the last one I saw. Once I started getting into the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe, I saw like Iron Man, and then it was Captain America, the first Avenger, and then... I eventually saw Thor. It took me a little while to see Thor, but I, I got to it and I saw it and I really, really liked it. I was like, oh, this is kind of a different kind of Marvel movie and it's interesting and talking about a guy who has to earn his worthiness of the crown and kingdom while having a brother that wants the crown. I thought it was good and I really enjoyed it. Um, but anyway, so that was my number 12. My number 11 was Doctor Strange. Now, Hearing some people's thoughts about this film, I've heard there's actually a lot of distaste with this film. I don't get it. I actually quite enjoyed it. It was very different, I will say. When I first saw it, I saw it with a friend of mine, and when I first saw it, I was like, whew, this, this, this was a different film, and not Guardians of the Galaxy kind of different. It was just, it was, it was different, you know, with all the you know, I mean, but I liked the character, Doctor Strange, I did. I liked the cape, that was probably the best part, um, in my opinion. But overall, I really liked it, and I liked the, the story of having this doctor who's kind of this arrogant, you know, jerk almost, and then him having like a heroic kind of story, redeeming story almost, and like he has problems with his hands, that's why it ties in with like the whole, you know, illusion kind of stuff which I really liked now the, the ending of that film I kind of like Dormammu that scene was funny but the villain in that film was kind of ugh, you know whatever a whatever kind of villain at that time but anyway so my next film on number 10 is Black Panther he made it in my top 10 which I'm surprised um but you guys know I really really enjoyed that film I thought it was good I maybe think it's a little overrated oh overrated I um I like it but I don't it's not Oscar worthy in my opinion um which that's a different story entirely why that was nominated but um overall I thought it was a good origin kind of story um I like the characters I like Shuri um didn't like the villain at all but again that's kind of a theme I'm having with some of these Marvel movies the villain is really uh taking a damper on my likeness first up but yeah so Black Panther is my number 10. Good movie. Not amazing, but good. Um, and then number nine is the first Avengers. It's not Captain America, first Avengers. It's just Avengers. Now, P 
people might be putting this in their top five, which I completely understand. Like, don't get me wrong. I do, I'm not gonna, you know, ring your bell if it's like in your top five. Like, no, like seriously. But I will say that I was so hyped for this movie that when I first saw it, I was like, yes, this is the best movie ever. But re-watching it again, like it's still great, but re-watching it again, I'm like, it's not as good as I feel like when you compare it to the Marvel movies that we have now, I'm like, yes, yeah, it's definitely not on par with, you know, with just some of the other films like Infinity War or something like that. I don't know. It's just my thought process with it. Still really good. I still like it, but not as good as I feel like maybe it's a little overrated. Um, but anyway, still good. And then my next one is Avengers Age of Ultron. Again, right with Thor The Dark World. I do not understand people's dislike for this movie. It's an awesome movie. I don't understand. I love it. Yeah, granted that James Spader Ultron was not maybe as great as people thought it was going to be. Um, it was, a, I mean, it was a villain. I don't. It was great! I loved it! Especially with all the different storylines going. I, I don't know, I loved it. Especially we got introduced to Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver. Thought that was great. We got to see more of Hawkeye's backstory, which was like, yes, give me more Hawkeye backstory. I love that. And then we started to get a little bit introduced to like the Civil War storyline. We were starting to dip our feet in the water with that a little bit. And I really, really loved it. I thought it was great. And I don't understand people's dislike for it. Um, but yeah, now the only thing with that film was, you know, the, the, the spur that we took off with Thor hot tub scene. I don't really understand that because we didn't even get, well, I guess it came out two years later. Okay. Well, whatever. Um, but yeah, that was just a little, a little strange to me why that was, uh, in there. But anyway, I guess they had to set up the next Thor film, but you know, yeah. Uh, and then the next one is number seven, Captain America, the first Avenger. Now this one was hard with the next one that I have on my ranking. These two, I flip flop back and forth, back and forth. I forgot how good the first Avenger was until I, like I watched it yesterday and I was like, this is a good movie. Like this is, this is good. This, I think, you know, I watched it more times than I'm willing to admit when it first came out because I was just obsessed with it. And I was like, yes, Captain America is, you know, as you guys know, he's my favorite superhero. So, um, it was like, I watched it all the time. And so I think maybe because of that, I like didn't watch it for years on end because like I was so familiar with it. But then I was like, you know, I haven't seen that movie in a long time. I was like, I'm gonna watch that again. And... It was great, and I completely, like, it completely went over my mind how great Captain America and Peggy Carter's chemistry was. I, like, I would put it up there with Pepper Potts and Tony Stark, in my opinion. Rewatching it, I really started to, like, appreciate some of the, you know, their chemistry that they had and the conversations that they had. I really, really liked it and really enjoyed it. I thought they were, I just, I think they're in it. I think it also makes a little bit more of an impact because he doesn't have that. She's dead now. Um, so that's why it's kind of like, oh, like, they were so good together, like, why, why did he have to be frozen in time, go live with her, I, you know, go marry her, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so, um, yeah, and, and, and to be frank with you, he's, he's the first Avenger, not this, uh, this new person coming in, um, so yeah, I don't really get that, he will, and will always be the first Avenger. You guys know what that I mean by that if you've seen Captain Marvel. Uh, anyway, next one on my list is number six, Captain America Civil War. Now, yeah, like again, like I said, the first Avenger and Civil War go neck and neck with me. They're kind of like right there together. Um, now, when I first saw Civil War, I don't think I did a review on it. Um, I was a little disappointed just because the ending was so sad with just, you know, you don't like to see your buddies fight. You're just like, guys, come on. Snap out of it, reach an understanding together. Iron Man, I know that he killed your parents, but to me, it's not like you were, like, 
thought that this takes away from it at all. That's not, okay. Anyway, that I that's not a good argument. But anyway, yeah. And then you, then you have like what, what's his name? Bucky. Yeah. <laughs> Who didn't know what he was doing and uh, stuff like that. So it's just kind of like it was just kind of sad. And there was a lot. I felt like it was just too many characters that they were trying to incorporate for it to be a standalone Captain America film. That was just my opinion. But I mean. It was still good. I still really enjoy it. Um, it's just, it maybe left a little bit of a damper on me. That's why I just have a hard time watching it. Um, I have to watch it when I'm really, really happy. Otherwise, I just get more sad. <laughs> but anyway, my next one, whoa, it's already 20 minutes into the video. Wow, sorry about this, guys. Um, and then my next one is my number five, Ant-Man. Ant-Man's awesome, love it. The next one is number four, Iron Man, the first one. I love Iron Man. It's still so good. Love it. He's top, definitely top three favorite superheroes um, in the Marvel Universe. Definitely. Love Iron Man. Great movie. Love the origin story. The ending was maybe a little bit weak, but still, great movie. And it introduced us to everything that we have now, which is amazing. My next one, on number three, is Spider-Man Homecoming. I love this movie, especially seeing it like the second time. The first time I was like, oh, that was really good. And then I watched it again. I was like, yes, I, I love this movie. It's so different and it's refreshing having a storyline based on like a teenager uh, instead, you know, it can work. It definitely can work. And so I just, I love the story that they were pushing with that film and especially the camaraderie between Spider-Man and Iron Man it was really, really great. I loved it. My number two is Avengers Infinity War for obvious reasons. Yes, I love Infinity War. I've seen it, oh, I don't know. I've seen it twice since it being on Netflix within the past couple of months, um, which might not be that much to some people, but to me, it is. I don't like watching movies too close in advance because, you know, you get tired after it a while and you want to have the same kind of emotions watching it or some, you know, surprises watching it again. But anyway, that was my number two and my number one is Captain America the Winter Soldier because it is the best superhero movie ever. I'm sorry if you disagree. Like, you can disagree. Whoa, what's wrong with my hair? Um, I love that movie. I've loved it ever since I saw it. And it's Captain America. I might be a little biased, but that's my favorite film. And everything that they told in that story with... And the thing, what, what, what's so great is that Bucky Barnes' character, he said barely a word in that film. But he was the most strongest character there besides Captain America. Like it was just so like chilling watching his performance and just how oh their fight scenes and everything like that, the fight choreography and especially the ending. Oh, made me cry when I first saw it. I was like, yes. And then we see Peggy Carter again when she's older, which was kind of sad, but it's just it's so good. It's so good. It made me like Black Widow a little bit more. Um, than I used to. I, she's still not my favorite, but you know, we got her in the film and I thought that was good. So anyway guys, that is my ranking. Please let me know what your ranking is down below. There is a lot of films and I'm like drenching in sweat right now because of rambling on for 23 minutes. So yeah, let me know what you thought down below. Please comment on this video. Please like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next video.